Good morning and welcome integration for year 13 for the math. It's actually reduction formula as a topic. I, I'm not quite sure in which module this is now included. And this is the reduction formula that we're trying to, to produce. Uh, the integral is uh, integral 0 to 1, x to the 6, bracket x cubed plus 1, all to the power of n dx. It is a show, but unfortunately I forgot to, to write the show, so we don't have it available at the moment. Okay, so how do we approach something like this? Um, standard method for something uh, for for most reduction formulas is uh, uh, integration by parts. So um, my initial thoughts are: Do I do the integration by parts by keeping these two things as I see them in there, x to the six times this bracket, or I do have a second choice, which I'm going to try if the first one doesn't work. I hope you can actually see a second uh, possibility: x cubed plus one to the power of n. And because I want to create a, a little chain, I can, I'm going to take from the x to the 6 and x squared. So that can integrate if I need to, if the first approach doesn't work, of course. And of course, an x to the 4 at the front. So I can actually split it also in this particular fashion as, as a backup, that is. But first one is to actually do the integration by parts by treating these two terms uh, as I see them. So here it goes. I'm going to do it up here somewhere. So that's my integration by parts. Of course, you could be using a formula or whatever uh, you're, 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 use, you're normally using. I use a grid. So I'm going to put the x cubed plus 1 to the power of n up here and uh, the x to the 6 on the bottom uh, right. Integrate that. It's going to give me 1 7th x to the power of 7 and differentiating that uh, just try to keep the bits the constants at the front i'm going to get a 3 from the x so the differentiation of the x cubed so it's going to give me a 3 an n from the power an x squared from the chain and all of this will go x cubed plus 1 to the power of n minus 1. i hope i haven't made any mistakes it's very early sunday morning before i start work and uh, at at the moment, I'm very, very tired, very sleepy. I normally need three cups of coffee before I get uh, to function in the mornings. So I only had one cup so far. Okay, looking now at uh, integration by parts, um, the way I set it up up here, that's my UV basically if you're using a formula. So the product of those two, so it's going to be minus one seventh uh, x cubed, x, no x cubed, x to the seven times x cubed plus 1 all to the power of n with limits 0 to 1 of course and then it's always minus the integral of the product of this diagonal so let me just move out of the way so we can see and I can also see what's going on in there so it's minus the integral of this diagonal this has a minus why does it have a minus in there what is going on? I just uh, told you I'm sleeping in the morning. I do apologize. Pretend you never saw this. It's, this happens sometimes. It is minus sometimes, but definitely not today. Okay, so it's minus the product of this uh, diagonal. So we're going to have a minus and we're having, I'm going to pull outside all the constants. So we've got the 3 sevenths n, 3 sevenths n. And what that leaves me inside is x to the 7 times x squared, which is x to the 9. In the bracket to the power of n minus 1 limits of course 0 to 1 dx so this is what we've done so far and uh, what happens next well we can evaluate that that hopefully will give us something sensible we're putting x is equal to 1 uh, what happens and that shouldn't be now a minus because it's of course stupid from that minus from before uh, I don't know what happened there clearly a vacuum existed all of a sudden in my brain and it, when I came out of the vacuum a minus appeared okay so this is now putting an x is equal to 1 uh, this is 1 this is 2 to the n and a 7 so let's write it as 2 to the power of n and we got over uh, 7 there so that's the only uh, thing that we got from this term here because of course when we put 0 the x to the 7 will kill it instantly and uh, let's think about this particular integral now and what we can do because of course we need to take it back to something which resembles our original integral so our original integral has an x to the 6 here and of course this bit here is, is okay so we don't really need to worry about it so let's put the minus 3 sevenths n there and uh, 
it might not be obvious what we need to do next okay uh, sometimes if when I when I was a learner myself uh, I probably would have uh, probably quit and tried the other integration bypass that I mentioned in the beginning uh, but before we do that uh, let's think about this x to the 9 we would like to have an x to the 6 in there somehow it's not difficult to actually make an x to the 6 because I have enough so let me write this as x to the 6 times x cubed that's the x to the 9 that was there and then my bracket of course which is x cubed plus 1 x cubed plus 1 to the power of n minus 1 dx and this comes now the, the tricky bit which is a little bit difficult to actually see but once we see that and this is the whole purpose of, the, of doing this particular reduction formula I might do a similar one in another lecture just to give you a bit more practice on this we got the x to the 6 that's good news we got this bracket so somehow um, this kind of resembles what we got up there but not quite this this x cubed there is a real pain and I'm gonna try to get rid of it this is how you can get rid of this this is my x to the 6 you see this x cubed let's open a square bracket to put some stuff in it and this is our x cubed plus 1 to the power of n minus 1 dx so far so good this is my x cubed in this bracket it's not good as it is at the moment as an x cubed however it would have been lovely if I had an x cubed plus 1 and here it is I run riot I'm gonna put an x cubed plus 1 because I like one but of course this is not now worth x cubed it's worth x cubed plus 1 obviously so in order to balance it I need now to put a minus 1 plus this let's check what I've done x to the 6 my x cubed there here, we, here it is minus 1 plus 1 cancels and I've got of course the other term at the very end um, why did I do that well think a little bit ahead I'm going to multiply the integrand there and I have x to the minus 6 times minus 1 times x cubed plus 1 to the n minus 1 and then I'm going to have a plus x to the 6 x cubed plus 1 times another x cubed plus 1 to the n minus 1 and of course both these integrals will have an x to the 6 at the front and some power of x cubed plus 1 so I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the board if I go uh, low here I will probably be a better idea if I make a bit of space on the top to see all of this so let's rub off two lines and uh, I'm gonna try to show full workings for this full, uh, every little detail so we can all ha we're all happy that uh, this is all good so 2 to the n just merely recopying minus 3 7 n integral 0 2 1 and now multiplying inside the integrand x to the 6 times minus 1 times this bracket will give me a minus x to the 6 times the bracket x cubed plus 1 to the power of n minus 1 and then I'm gonna have x to the 6 times this bracket times this term here so it's gonna be plus x to the 6 and when I times now that times that that's to the power of 1 it's gonna take me back up to of course n dx my next line I will definitely put it I'm not gonna go back into IN's and IN minus ones and and so forth I'm going to split the integral uh, probably I've been burned in the past as a as a, as a youngster and uh, I always do that I don't like to just uh, move into IN's in there so let's split the integral into two bits careful with the minus three sevenths n at the front so minus times a minus a plus 3 7 n integral 0 to 1 just this term here now the minus has been taken care of so that's x to the 6 x cubed plus 1 power n minus 1 dx and now I have this coefficient from the integral times that when I'm splitting so it's still minus 3 7 n integral 0 to 1 x to the 6 x cubed plus 1 to the power of n dx and now I'm ready to practically I'm on my on the, on the home straight 
uh, the last tidy up because the two integrals I've just created now on the right are of course uh, can be written looking back at the original definition back into ins and ins minus one so two to the n over seven plus three sevenths n this is of course by definition your i n minus one minus three sevenths n and this is of course your original your i n so in order to do a tidy now because we're going to have of course the, all of this that we got up here is of course your i n so let me write it at the front this is my i n is equal to all of that uh, we're going to have all together for for this uh, one we need to probably better to multiply by seven i would have i would have thought in there um so let's say seven I'm putting an extra line times it by seven is equal to seven i n two to the n plus three n i n minus one minus three n i n now i'm going to put this to the left so i'll go seven plus three n lots of i n taking those two terms together is equal to 2 to the n plus 3 n i to the n minus 1 and my reduction formula is done uh, i'm gonna put it in red somewhere here uh, i don't want to be rubbing stuff so i'm going to have my i n once i divide of course by this bracket all the way through it's going to be equal to uh, 2 to the n over 3n plus 7 i'm just writing it purely for looks the other way around plus 3n from this bit here over 3n plus 7 i think this red pen is also dead so i must remember to put him in the bin because he can barely write and now I started so i'll finish i think I, I think i hope you can make the last two characters which is n minus one okay this is the reduction formula i hope I've, I've done it correctly i hope i haven't made any silly errors i'm very error prone very early in the morning like you saw please forget that i even wrote this minus in there it happens to the best of us okay uh, i hope it made sense and uh, i hope you find it useful who's laughing now